So we're in search of the perfect location to film our in and out talking head videos here in Sedona. I think this is good in the background. It's right across the street from our apartment. So while I'm waiting for Barb to get her stuff together, <laughs> I just have to tell you how much fun we're having. We're like the dynamic duo. We've exploded paint, stencils, glitter, glue, Posca pens, anything that you can possibly imagine all over the inside of this Airbnb, including all over the surface of the stove. And we can't eat at the table. So we're either going out or we're sitting on the floor eating. And we can't even sit on the floor because the floor is covered with gel prints. <laughs> it's the perfect excuse to go out to dinner. Okay. All right. And action. Here we go. And here I am with this most incredible rock star, uh, Barb from Joggles. She has to have her sunglasses on because she walks down the street, people stop her. She's like, she's so famous. What it really is is the sun gives me a headache because I squint so much, but okay. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Well, you don't have to tell them that. Well, I'm a truthful person. I can't help it. Our mixed media rock star. Yeah. We're in beautiful uptown Sedona. It is gorgeous today. It's got to be 85 degrees. The sun is in, it's April. So for me, where I live, this is magnificent weather and I'm delighted to be here. I'm always having a good time when Elizabeth and I are together. And we have exciting news for you. You see this? I'm gonna give you one of these. These are freebie journals. Oh, mine's upside down. Oops, wicked sorry. <laughs> so these journals include 75 pound pages. It's four inches by six inches. It's spiral bound. And here's how you get one for free. Spend $50 or more on products other than gift certificates. That's it. If you spend 50, we'll give you one. If you spend 100, we'll give you two and so on. Now, when you spend $50, it also qualifies your order for discounted shipping. So it's bonus time all around. And this promo starts on, let me just check my dates, starts on June 9th, 2023. It runs 9, 10, and 11, and then it ends at 11.59 p.m. Eastern on June 11th, 2023. 11.59. 11.59. Last time we did this, I questioned that, and she told me that it has to be that because once it gets to be midnight, it's the next day. It's the way the clock works, sister. I can't <laughs> help that. <laughs> I have no linear concept of time. That's but, okay. But um, will you give me one for free? Two. Two? And I already have one. Yeah, these are um, a lot of fun. I think you're gonna enjoy seeing the pages that we've created and the ways that you can use them. She tore a page out because she had to write notes in hers. So they're yeah. good for all kinds of things. Yeah, it could even be good for your grocery list. Absolutely. But you probably should put something more creative in it than your grocery yeah. list. Or at a minimum, you have to doodle all over your grocery list. Right, to make it worthy. That's right. Well, we've got some fun uh, things that we put in here besides our grocery list and my notes, so. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. All right. So I had a lot of fun playing with this freebie journal before we got here to Sedona. I just love this little guy on the cover and he really makes me smile. So this is just a little place for me to play and um, experiment and mess around with different materials in this little book. So I put an old cover of an old bird book in here sort of after I did a couple of pages and then I thought it would be kind of neat if the whole book had a theme, but I didn't start out that way. So I've got a couple of um, bird illustrations on um, a foam stamp pattern on this page and then this page is really kind of my favorite where I use the joggles creative cut one of uh, these and put it over a gel printed piece of paper and then added stamps um, in the openings. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Then I've got um, a, a page, an old bird book page that I colored in. I added paint and color to it. And then I created a pocket for this um, part of the bird book page. I got the illustration, I mounted it to a little piece of cardstock and I created a pocket with a gel print that the bird just slides right into and sits on the same uh, kind of orange paper in the back. So 
that's where the bird theme is going. So on this page, this is how I'm, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I laid down a gel print that I created. So the yellow dots is a solid gel print. And then I took, uh, these are the Joggles Creative Cuts. So I've got one on watercolor paper and one on black cardstock and Barb painted these. Hopefully you can see that. So Barb painted these with a little bit of metallic, silver and gold metallic on this one. And this one is a, the, the white, just the white plain, but this is on the black. So this is a gel printed on black. And then she also did this one with silver and gold and a little bit of a dot pattern on the edge here. So that looks really nice with the yellow. So I just glued those two layers in, the gel print first, and then I trimmed the creative cut. Just with the scissors, I trimmed it along here and there. So I just held it up and figured out where I needed it to be and just trimmed it and then glued it on top of the gel print. So then I went through all these fun off paper uh, postage stamps and tried to find some that might have a natural theme or a bird theme or something that would go with the book. So what I picked out was um, fish, a bird, some strawberries, another bird, uh, some ducks, and some blueberries. So I picked them for their... Um, subject matter and also for the colors things that i thought would look nice on yellow so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue in here in the center of the squares and what's nice about these postage stamps is they're off the paper so there's no envelope paper stuck to the back of them they've all been steamed off the paper so they're going to glue down real nice so this one let's do it face up i'm just going to put it in there and kind of this stamp is from israel i think just sort of twist it around on the glue there. Sort of spread it around underneath it and center them in the square. That's gotta be an old stamp because it's one cent only. So I got my ducks in there and my Canada bird and some blueberries. So there I've got a little natural theme going there. On the first page that I showed you, I actually did divide some of the stamps in half and put them in here if you wanted to create a full grid. So for that effect, I just grabbed, like we'll just grab, let's get something in a different color. And I tore the stamp in half and just put half of it in the remaining box. Do the same with this one. Since these are divided in half, it's hard to really even see what the subject matter is. So I'm kind of just going for more for color. And then lastly, and size, you have to make sure they're gonna fit in the openings. So again, I'm gonna just tear it in half vertically and put it in there and then you get all well, that I missed let's just clip this there we go so then you get a full grid of stamps and on the first page that I did I also embellished this with a little Posca marker so I have the real ultra fine tip uh, for the squiggly lines and the cross hatching and the little dots. So I added that in with the Posca paint marker because it goes really nicely over that black. So there you have what I had fun playing with in my freebie journal. Okay. There's people headed our way. It's because they know you're the mixed media rock oh, star. They're coming it. for an autograph. <laughs> All of a sudden you're out of the frame. Yeah, that's because I'm not as famous as you think I'm hiding. <laughs> So we're having a lot of fun playing in this journal and um, we want to remind you that when you do stuff in your journal, you need to post it on social media with the hashtag create with joggles so that we can find you on social media. Create with joggles. Yes, that's going to make it so that we can find you and you can find each other and you can go and get ideas under that hashtag for what you might want to do in your journal, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right.
One of the things I enjoy the most about working with Elizabeth is, I learn from her obviously, but in addition to that, our styles are completely different, which means when we show you things that each of us have worked on, you're generally gonna see something that doesn't look like what the other has done, and I think that that's always fun. So as we mentioned in the, in the introduction, this bird's name is Leonard. He was part of a set of four masks that measure about five by seven that Elizabeth and uh, Joggles, we released a year ago ish maybe something like that so he's on the cover here and then as you start to page through you're going to see that all of my pages look and behave heavier than the 75 pound weight pages that are in here and that's because I've adhered something on them here this is an embossed piece of cardstock that I stuck on here here this is a this was an index card that I had put some color on at one point metal tags boy do I love these metal tags I've gel printed on these plates, uh, on these pages, I've brayered paint on, but in all cases, I've done it in a way that I'm working on either a double thick page or a page that's had something adhered to it. I just like the sturdiness of that. Now you will notice that this book gets very chunky when you do that. And the solution is to just pull some pages out further along so that, unless you really want this to, to bulge like that, but that's of course a, a matter of choice. When I start to page through these, this is one of our supersized ATCs. This is older Art by Marlene um, artwork, but I save everything. And so I have all of this stuff hanging around that I can bring out. Now 49 and Market does some wonderful things. This is one of their postage stamps washi tapes. They've always got, no matter what collection they've got out, there's always po postage stamps washi. And they generally have in a release tags that are marvelous. This is one of Tim's rub-ons that I put on that tag, a little bit of a creative cut because I save everything. Again, more oversized ATCs. This is rice paper. So your backgrounds can be just about anything. Again, more of a different collection of postage washi. One of Tim's, um, actually this is two of Tim's paper dolls. So when you think about either adhering two pages together or putting, like I did here, putting a piece of paper on one side to make this sturdier, you have a couple of options. Now you could certainly use gel medium or wet glue, but I find that that, first of all, tries my patience because I don't feel like waiting for it to dry. But more importantly, it has a tendency to warp the pages a little bit. So instead what I like to do is use some of our sticky stuff. It's immediate and I can begin to work because there's no dry time. Now this is a one and done product and so you obviously have to be careful when you do this. So you peel the backing paper off which exposes the sticky side. And I there's only so much you can do to be perfect here and as you know I think perfection is highly overrated. So I just go ahead and put this down. Now obviously I don't want this to stick, but this is nonstick craft sheet under here, so it really doesn't matter. You can see, and because it'll pop off, I'm off a little bit here. I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. I just I have bigger things to worry about, quite frankly. So all I'm gonna do is grab some scissors and trim the rest of the sticky stuff away from this edge. And if I'm far enough away, and I don't think I am on this particular page, but I can always just stick a little bit of glue in there. That much is not gonna impact dry time or you know make this curl or anything like that. So once the sticky stuff is on, I'm just gonna burnish it down a little bit because I've gotta get one of these edges ready to lift the, the release paper off. And you know, this usually is a fiddly thing. And for somebody like me with stubby fingers, it's always a challenge. And I don't have my tweezers handy to make this go a little bit more quickly. All right. So I have taken, and again, 49 Market makes some wonderful paper. This is a piece from one of their six by eight collection packs. This I think is vintage artistry everywhere. By the time you see this video, I'm not certain we'll still have it, but there are always papers, Art by Marlene, Tim's, 49 and Market, you name it, and somebody's got paper that you'll love and that you can go ahead and adhere to these pages. So you can see that this is pretty thin at this point, although even the film that is the sticky stuff goes ahead and supports that page a little bit. So now all I'm gonna do Again, actually, you know what? I wanna turn this this way because I wanna eyeball this in a way that I get this lined up. Now I pre-cut this. I don't always, some of the time I just go ahead and put it on and let it hang off the edge and then I trim it. But for the sake of argument here, just to make it easy, I went ahead and did that. So this is what I've done in my freebie journal. When you have yours, you can work on pages individually. You can put them together. You can use sprays and paint. 
you can use die cuts. There's a bajillion ways that you can work on these pages. And of course, free is a good thing, and it's always more exciting to work on something that you didn't have to pay for. Okay, and almost. Okay, no, that's terrible. That looks up from underneath our chins. Nobody wants that. That's a bad angle. It's a very bad angle. It's okay. Not good. All right, let's lean in. Oh, we're kissing. blocking the mountains, but that's okay. That's all right. We got a big head. You got to do something <laughs> with it. All right. So we had a lot of fun. We uh, did a lot of neat things. I got glue all over everywhere when I put that thing in my journal. But if I'm the worst wet gluer in the world, she's a close second. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. She was like, here's a paper towel. You want to wipe that off? <laughs> hint, hint. Hint, hint. All right. Well, thanks. Don't forget to... Um, Get your order in in time to get that journal because, uh, you know, they're cute and they're fun and why not? It's free. It's free. Free's good. Free's Bye. good. Bye. Bye.